Hey guys, Tom here again from SynthHacker.com. Welcome back to another tutorial for Serum. In this one, we're gonna be taking a look at making this medicine style key sand. So as you can tell, it's got like a really smooth character to it with a nice raspy high end as well. The sound I recreated is from Medicine's remix of Portugal the Man. Uh, we're going to be making it completely from scratch in an initialized patch in Serum here. Just before we do though, as always guys, this preset and the presets from all my other tutorials are included in every pack on my website over at synthacker.com. Thanks to you guys that have already supported me and uh, thanks in advance for checking that out. I really do appreciate it. I also want to briefly mention I've started a Discord server. We've now got over 200 people in there, which is great to see. It's been really cool to see you guys like support each other, give each other feedback, help each other out with like different sound design you're trying to figure out as well. So I'll leave a link down below to that if you want to come join in. But without further ado, let's start making this really cool medicine key sound completely from scratch. So I'll just quickly show you the chords themselves. So really perfect chords for this style of sound. You know, I noticed this type of sound being used a lot in Medicine's other tracks, as well as a lot of other artists in the kind of, in a kind of similar area as well. So we're going to be using the analog BD sine wave for this. It's got a really simple tone to the sound. Most of what makes this sound interesting is like the subtle modulation we're going to add and also the distortion that I'll, I'll get to in just a second. But one thing that I like to do on key sounds is use some velocity modulation so that the harder you hit a key, the louder the sound will be. This is great just to add like a little sense of realism to the sound. So at the minute we've just got this. You can see it being modulated there. Um, something that also helps with this is if you add a little bit of noise and use the same velocity to modulate that. And you can kind of dial the amount of noise to your own personal taste really. Let's also just set up the amplitude envelope here. I think I had it set to around 50 and then brought the sustain down, sharpened up the envelope just a little bit. And yeah, this gives us like the nice amplitude characteristic of like a typical key sound, but without the sustain. Cool, so we're kind of getting there. Um, I'm also just gonna add a subtle 18 dB filter to cut off some of the high end. Just gonna lower the noise a little bit as well, so it's a little bit more of a subtle effect. Cool, let's move into the effects now, and this is where most of the characteristics of the sound actually come from. What I noticed on the Medicine sound, and a lot of the, the kind of chord sounds on his album actually, is that he uses a lot of like down sample distortion, which can sound really, really great on, on key sounds. So I'll quickly show you what I mean. just adds a really nice kind of like classy character to it. You know, this kind of distortion, because it's so specific to a certain frequency, for example, here, if we look in Neutron, you can see it's around like the 11 um, kilohertz mark. It really helps the, the sound cut through a mix, especially if you keep those frequencies in mind when you're uh, mixing. Another cool thing you can do is just add a little bit of dimension expander just to you know make the sound sound a, bit, a little bit bigger. I quite like it as just like a little subtle effect. Maybe add a little bit of chorus as well. And then another thing that I, I really like to do with a velocity with sounds like this is if you boost the high shelf gain here, you'll notice that the, the distortion like downsampling becomes a bit more exaggerated. 
we don't want to boost this too much, but what you can actually do is use our velocity modulation again to control the, the high shelf gain. And this is just, again, another way to add a little sense of like realism to it. It just makes the sound a little bit more dynamic, especially if you actually play the chords in with different velocity or program your MIDI to have different velocity in your piano roll. It goes a really long way. And that's pretty much the whole sound. You could add some reverb and stuff like that. One thing you could also do would be to add a second oscillator, like an octave above, uh, maybe bypassing the filter just to kind of switch the sound up a little bit. And finally, um, another thing you might want to think about doing is just using a low shelf EQ to remove some of like the muddy low end. Yeah, just a really, really cool sound. And hopefully you can kind of take away some techniques with this and, you know, apply it to different key sounds you create. But I really like this sound. You know, some of the best sounds sometimes are also the most simple. You know, sometimes less really is more. You don't really need to use complex, you know, wavetables and waveforms to get interesting sounds. So yeah, thanks a lot for watching, guys. Um, again, if you haven't checked my website out yet over at synthhacker.com, definitely go ahead and do so. You know, this preset and the presets from all my tutorials are included in every pack. Again, if you want to come join the Discord fam, I'll leave a link down below. You know, you can get feedback for your tracks. Um, if there's a sound that you're kind of struggling with, if you post it in the sound design channel, you know, either myself or other people can help you figure it out. And, you know, it's just a cool place to like hang out and talk about music production and stuff. And also go ahead and follow me on Twitter if you haven't done so. That's the best way to like contact me and stay up to date with what I'm doing. But yeah, thanks a lot for, for watching guys. I really do appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next video.